<laughs> so welcome back to my channel it's been a while my hair does not fit in the frame oh my god let's fix that <laughs> welcome back to my channel thank you for coming by today i appreciate you in today's video we're going to talk about every product that i use from head to toe we're talking skin from my face, skin right here, skin everywhere. Most of the products are either vegan or cruelty free. Let's get on to the video and I'm going to start with my routine for the morning. So in the morning I use a ton of products. <laughs> In the morning, I keep my, I would say, very simple skincare. I do not wash my face in the morning. Like, I transition from having, like, really, really oily skin to having a drier skin. My skin was producing oil even though it was dry, so I was getting acne. What I needed to do was simplify things. Some water, you know, this works for me. It might not work for everybody, but it works for me. I use vitamin C because my skin is getting dull, so I decided to incorporate uh, vitamin C into my routine. The SPF works better when you have vitamin C in your It helps with acne marks. Then I follow that up with uh, niacinamide. There's multiple things that niacinamide is helpful for. Fine lines, acne marks, making sure that you're not producing that much oil on your face. And lastly, I make sure that I use a moisturizer. In the summers, I, I'll do this gel. Let's talk about my hair, because it's like from top to bottom. So let's start with the hair. You know, as you can see, my hair is very dry right now. I didn't put any product on it right now, because I'm going to bed in a few minutes. For washing my hair, I have a condition, seborrheic dermatitis on my head and scalp so i have to switch between two products so that you know my hair my scalp doesn't get used to a particular product because he stopped working after a while i use a co-wash in order for me not to get the support dermatitis i have to make sure that i wash my hair every two to three days it's better to do with a co-wash instead of another shampoo because it's more moisturizing I have a shampoo that I also use for my seborrheic dermatitis and I use that like once a week. I go to the gym, I try to wash my hair. I use like a, an intensive cream. I'm gonna say sometimes once a month maybe. I'm gonna show you a little clip of my routine after getting out of the shower for my hair. Okay, so I'm out of the shower. I waited so long that my hair is drying already so I'm not gonna have the best results today. I have the Moroccan pear conditioning custard not all of my products are completely vegan and on purpose because i have issues with my scalp not all of those sometimes i have medicated things a hundred percent of what i consume as an eat is actually vegan. this is actually vegan this is a vegan brand it is not your mother's instant shine smooth waves it has hyaluronic acid it's so so good it keeps my hair shiny and then, anyway, this says Instant Shine, Smooth Waves, Frizz Lock Complex, and Hyaluronic Acid. And you know Hyaluronic Acid is good for the skin. So anyway, it's good for the hair too. And I use this because it has apple cider and it's good for my scalp. Apple cider vinegar. And it has shea butter, which is moisturizing. And my, my hair needs all the moisture. It has flaxseed and peppermint. Peppermint and apple cider vinegar are good for my scalp. It prevents like the dandruff that I get. It smells good. And I'm just gonna put it on lightly for my body. I found this new product. Really love it. It's really moisturizing and it smells really, really good. I alternate with a body wash and a soap, like a regular soap because I feel like I'm doing less damage to the environment by not buying the plastic every time. The next products that I use are nighttime. And that's when the routine gets really rough. And I love the e.l.f. products because they're cheap, affordable, and they contain ingredients that my face likes. Hyaluronic acid, ceramides. I love that. So that's why I wash my face with e.l.f. I have the moisturizer from e.l.f., 
I have the face wash from e.l.f. and it's vegan and cruelty free. Um, the next product I'm going to talk about is um, for the night. Retinoid. I don't know if it's to say retinol or retinoid or, you know, I never learned. Okay. But it's one of the two <laughs> is the retinol, I believe. Of course, we're going with ordinary because what else is cheaper? And it worked. Sometimes I'll alternate between my cinnamide and retinol. I'll follow with a moisturizer and it's the same one that I use from Elf because it's great. Let's talk about oil. I use the oil, especially on those very dry, dry days. I make sure that I put it all over my face and I'm looking at the oil when I go to sleep, but it doesn't matter. In the morning when I wake up, moisture, moisture. Now, let's talk about the skin on my legs and my body. What do I wear there? Retinol again, retinol again. Because why? Because, you know, I have marks and I want to make sure that I'm renewing that skin. I use like a mild, I believe it's mild retinol from Burst. And it's again, cruelty free vegan product. And I love it. And I use it with oil. Just because the texture of it is very thick. I may try a new one because that cream is thick. And it maintains that moisture throughout the day, which is why I use it. I think those are it. Those are my products. Anyway, love you guys. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe or subscribe. I don't know where it is. And I'll see you next time. I have a lot of ideas for this channel. So make sure you subscribe because I don't be posting every week. Okay? I got a life, guys. And by life, I mean, I don't. But I don't want to be recording things 24-7. <laughs> So anyway, anyway guys, I really enjoyed this. I hope to see you next time. Bye.